I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. In Ecclesiastes, the word havel is translated as vanity. Since this word is used so often, what was the author's intended definition? Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Of course, it begins a very famous vanity, vanity, all is vanity. Well, there's other translations, other ways of looking at it. Oftentimes, people will see this word as nothingness or worthlessness. Basically, what you see intended from the very beginning of Ecclesiastes is this idea that all of the aspirations, all the attainments, all the success of what we know as this world at the end of life is nothing. It's worthless. It's Havel, it's vanity. And I think the conclusion of Ecclesiastes summarizes it all because it literally says, this is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. And then the very last verse says that every secret thing will be judged by God. At the end of the day, one of the jokes about Ecclesiastes is that the, quote, t-shirt title would be been there, done that. Now, that being said, Particularly in chapter 2, you see that Solomon had access to every attribute, every accessible construct of humanity, and it did not benefit, it did not fulfill him as the Lord should and does. So all that being said, uh, vanity, worthlessness, nothingness, all essential that everything that this world offers is simply temporal compared to the Lord, whom we should fear and keep his commandments. Great question. If you have one, send to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's Daily Question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.